Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener we're going to be cropping a no-dig potato bed. Uh, this is a bed you haven't seen before and it's been part of an experiment this year. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How to Garden, there's a link directly above this film. Click on the link, it'll take you over to our website, input your email address, and it means you can get access to our free monthly newsletters. And it also means that you will know every single time we put up a new film. This was an experiment in lazy gardening, really. What I wanted to do was to plant a no-dig bed with potatoes. Uh, and the bed was constructed exactly the same as the no-dig potato bed that we put the film up about. But then I wasn't going to be that particular about weeding it. So it's been quite overrun with weeds, some uh, annual weeds, some perennial weeds, but not as many as you'd think. And I wanted to see if it really was massively detrimental to a crop like potatoes. Because what potatoes do is they're fantastic for breaking up the ground, but they're also really good because of the way their leaves work at suppressing weeds. And I was surprised that although, you know, we've got a bit of nettle in the odd dock, it's not as overrun as I would expect. About two weeks ago, I cut off the tops of the potatoes or the hulms. And this is really, really important. The difference between main crop potatoes and new potatoes mainly is the thickness of the skin. We all love the fact that new potatoes, you can just push them and the skin comes off. By cutting off the hulms or the tops of your potatoes, you allow that skin to harden while it's still in the ground, which means they will store for far, far longer. I've used three main crop varieties here, two of my favourites and a brand new one. The new one is called Harlequin, which I've never tried before, which is a pink fir apple cross. Pink fir apple, which is one of my favourites I've grown, and Violette, which is my all-time favourite winter potato. The French rave about this and the taste. The other way to do it, you could cover the uh, entire bed in straw for a couple of weeks or even black plastic. Commercially, what happens to your potatoes is they spray it with weed killer. It's one of the reasons I will not buy potatoes. They kill the entire bed with weed killer and then three or four weeks later or when the prices rise, they harvest it. And to me, spraying anything kind of with weed killer never sounds smart. The last thing I'd like to introduce you to is one of my favourite all-time tools. This is a Victorian potato fork. I use it once a year for digging potatoes, but I just love the engineering in this. I love the curve, I love the fact that each one of these tines has a little bump on it. And it uh, was one of my treats to myself. Moment of truth. This is Violette. And to be honest, considering, as I said, that I haven't been weeding like mad or feeding at all, these aren't looking too bad. You're wondering why Violette? That's why. They're violet all the way through the centre. They've actually done the job for me really, really well, which is they've broken up this soil incredibly, which is what I wanted them to do. And I'm not too disappointed with the crop, considering that it was being planted. Um, the, the crop was the secondary reason for planting this no-dig bed. What is interesting, the violette, nice sized potatoes, tastes really good. Pink fir apple, which is what I really enjoy. But as you can see, they are a nightmare to deal with. They're just a pain to clean. What I am really surprised with are the quality and the size of these harlequins, which have cropped really, really well. Much easier shape to deal with than the pink fir apple. And with pink fir apple as a parent, are supposed to be as tasty. So uh, we'll give those a try today and I will let you know, because if they are as good as pink fir apple, certainly easier to grow, certainly easier to use in the kitchen. Remember, any bits of green on them, don't use them, throw them away, uh, it will make you quite poorly. If you're going to store them, you need to dry these and get as much of this soil off as possible and then put them in a, a cool, dark place in a paper bag. Not a plastic bag, they'll sweat and they have to be kept in the dark, otherwise they'll start to turn green. Thanks for watching, learn how to garden. 